When I was a little girl, my mother told me I could be whatever I wanted to be. Well, she was right. What a rich life it has been. I've seen and done a million crazy things, and it hasn't always been what I expected. But gosh, it's been fun. I've done some things I'd rather forget. But you learn and move on. I've also done some things I'd do all over again, given half the chance. I haven't always been conventional, but sometimes you just got to say what the hell and go for it. My mum said it was simply about being an individual and finding the best deep inside you and then spending the rest of your life trying to bring it out. When I marched to get equal pay for women, my George said it was the saddest day of his life. Hmm. It's strange how his sadness and my happiness can be wrapped up in the same parcel. He got over it, but I think his world never quite rotated on the same axis after that. Thank goodness everyone is different, or the world would be a very boring place. I joined Greenpeace when it was just a few hippies protesting about, well, just about everything. <laughs> I've lain down in front of bulldozers in an Amazonian forest, pushed whales back into the ocean at midnight, and protested until the only endangered thing was my voice. <laughs> what days they were. My beautiful children call me their crazy mama. I sort of like that, you know. I think it was their way of giving approval without too much credit. <laughs> George just sort of figured the world was getting a little more wobbly every day and told me to be careful. I used to like to sit in the park and talk to a fine man called Caleb. He lived in the park and shopped in its bins. But what a mind that man had. He'd stand on the bench and recite whole Shakespeare plays from memory. He'd tongue lash politicians on monetary policy. And he gave me a flower on my birthday. Caleb was different too, but he was a soul on the journey of his choosing. Oh, the people I've seen. The thing I discovered early on was that no matter what, you had to be true to yourself. It's funny, you know. People go searching their whole lives for who they are and never really find it. And all along, they only had to take a long look in the mirror to find their greatest friend and their true voice. My life has been deluged with love, overrun by deep sadness, wrapped in happiness, and devastated by days I prayed would be over. But that's what life is all about. It's a journey. Your body is just a vehicle. Your heart and your soul and your mind are the pistons of the emotional engine that drives you on. So now it comes to you, the good people of Schwarzkopf Professional. What's in your hearts? What do you want to achieve? Where have you been? What have you done? Where do you want to go? What will you say about your life when you look back? I have a good friend called Mary who never sets foot outside her front door. But she always complains that she never goes anywhere. I keep telling her that she'll never go anywhere until she opens that door. Wouldn't you like to have your life your way?